Hi guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back for another video. So today I'll be cooking a chicken curry. It's a Bengali dish and I'm going to tell you step by step how to cook it. So I'll try to make it as easy as possible for you. Let me show you what ingredients you need first. So for the chicken curry, you're going to need oil, garlic and ginger. You're going to need, I've got two medium onions finely chopped. I've got some tomatoes and chilies. You're gonna need bay leaf and cinnamon sticks and salt. This depends on how spicy you want your curry. So I want mine to be really spicy. So I've got about three teaspoons of chili powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of uh, cumin powder and uh, one heat teaspoon of curry powder so that's all you're going to need for this curry so I'm going to put the gas on first in your pot what you want to add is your oil it's probably about six to seven tablespoons of oil there so let's wait for that to heat up a little bit I'm going to add in my bay leaf and cinnamon sticks. Also, I'm going to add in garlic and ginger. They're frozen, basically. I, anything that's easy for me, that's what I go for. So you can get ready-made frozen garlic and ginger. Some people say they're not very good, but I had no problem with it. And I've been cooking with it for the last couple of years. So now the oil is heating up, you can see it bubbling. I'm gonna add in my two onions. Now to soften the onions quicker, don't wanna brown the onions, I just wanna soften them. So I'm gonna add in about one and a half teaspoon of salt. All right. Now I'm gonna just give that a good mix. So you want to wait till your onions soften before you add in your spices. So the onions are softened, now I can add the spices. So the spices. Now what you want to do is cook your spices until you get rid of the raw spice smell so cook it cook the spices for about 10 minutes I say yeah so you want to keep stirring it on high flame if you feel like it's burning add a little bit of water that, that will stop the burning and um, then we can add in the chicken after that I would just like to say, obviously, I used about three teaspoons of chilli. If you don't like hot food and you like it mild, it depends on how much you add. So if you don't want it too hot, you can add in half a teaspoon or one teaspoon. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. So don't be worried of how much you put in and how much you don't put in. It all depends on you. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes and now I'm going to just add in one whole chicken which is already washed and cut and now you want to just mix it all in together you want to mix it really well and then the chicken is going to start to release its waters and um, you want to wait for all that water to evaporate before you add any extra sauce but I'm going to do a chicken bunna so I'm only going to add a little bit of water to help it all absorb together So your flame needs to be on high at this point. So now I'm going to just put the lid on. This will help cook the chicken and also for the chicken to release its waters. So I'm just going to check on the chicken. You want to occasionally stir it because you don't want it to burn. But give it a mix and then put the lid back on. 
every couple of minutes. Now it's been about five minutes. Can you see all this? This has come out the chicken. This is all the water that's come out the chicken. So um, you want to keep cooking it until all that water evaporates. So you need to make sure you always stir it, otherwise it's going to get burnt. So at this point, I'm going to add in one tomato and a couple of chilies. And give it a good mix. So we're just still waiting for some of the water to dry up. So now I'm just going to add a dash of water, just a little bit. This will help all that spice to um, absorb into inside the chicken. So um, just give it a good mix. This is done pretty much. We're just going to wait for that water to boil through once and then add the coriander to finish. So chicken curry is all finished now, so now I'm going to add in the coriander. I like adding quite a lot of coriander. Just mix that in. Be careful you don't mix it too much because um, because the chicken is so soft, it's going to start breaking. So gently mix it in. There you are guys, chicken curry is now cooked and finished and this is what it looks like. Can't wait to eat it, it looks lovely. It smells really nice, only if you could smell it. I hope that was easy for you to understand. Um, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing a lot more cooking videos in the future and also press that bell's notification button so YouTube can notify you every time I upload a video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.